You may have noticed that no one showed up for Ms. Hurd in this courtroom other than her sister. Every other witness who traveled to Virginia for her was a paid expert. This is a woman who burns bridges. Her close friends don't show up for her. Mr. Rottenborn tried to discredit Mr. Depp's witnesses by suggesting they're all on Mr. Depp's payroll. So he doubled down on the hoax theory that everyone's just lying. First of all, it's not even true Keenan Wyatt isn't, is on his payroll. Ben King isn't on his payroll. Melissa Sign, Officer Melissa Sines isn't on his payroll. Morgan Tremaine isn't on his payroll. Officer Tyler Haddon, he's not on his payroll. Beverly Leonard, Alejandro Romero, Brandon Patterson, Morgan Knight, none of those people are on his payroll. And Kate Moss, Kate Moss is most definitely not on Mr. Depp's payroll. Ms. Hurd wants you to believe that all these people are lying. Let's talk about the Boston plane. Ms. Hurd wants you to believe that the recording you heard is from the Boston plane flight. But that's quite telling. What did Ms. Hurd capture of this supposed rampage? Mr. Depp moaning in distress? That's what she chose to record. What sort of person records something like that? What sort of person takes pictures of their husband or boyfriend or fiance who's struggling with sobriety, nodding off with ice cream dripping down his leg, his hand in his pocket, or asleep on the ground? What sort of person does that? Definitely not someone that's afraid of him. And Ms. Hurd's attorney told a story of May 21 that was completely, utterly inconsistent with the testimonies of Officer Sines and Haddon, who testified clearly that they saw no signs of injury, no sign of property damage. And she told a story about how Officer Sadanaga, I get that right, Sadanaga's testimony was also wrong. She testified that the report was only required in case of a crime. Ms. Hurd's attorneys tried to tell you that Mr. Depp apologized on May 22nd because he had hit Ms. Hurd. Mr. Depp didn't apologize to Ms. Hurd on May 22nd for hitting her. He apologized because he was leaving Ms. Hurd. And this was a woman that in spite of all her violence and all her rage, Mr. Depp, he loved her. He had been with her for years. Of course he apologized when he finally broke it off. Ms. Bredehoff also tried to tell you that Ms. Hurd did everything in her power to keep the authorities away and to not get Mr. Depp in trouble on May 21st, 2016. Take a minute and think back to what Ms. Hurd did six days later, six years ago today. She walked into court with a visible mark on her face, not wearing makeup that day. She tipped off TMZ, she made it public, and she showed up on the cover of People magazine with a mark on her face. Was that protecting Mr. Depp? Or was she trying to destroy him? Mr. Rottenborn asked you to consider why you're here. So why are you here? You're here because of a lie. And that was a lie that Ms. Hurd repeated in the op-ed. At the start of this trial, we told you that this trial is about the evidence. The evidence overwhelmingly shows that Ms. Hurd is an abuser and that she is a liar. She lied about Mr. Depp and took on the role of a lifetime as a public figure representing domestic abuse. What is her best evidence of that abuse? A video of Mr. Depp banging cabinets around and text messages of Mr. Depp using bad words and dark, ugly humor, but never once admitting to abuse. Pictures of Mr.